Okay, what's up everyone? This is Frankie with Meekspace.com. Uh, today we're going to spend some time talking about uh, Method 3 for Apple devices. Method 3 involves uh, using a, a free app that you can download from the App Store and then using, your, uh, using this app along with your wireless connection at home, your wireless network, to download from that app uh, and get those files into your iSilo application. So um, where you want to start at, of course, is you'll want to make sure you've visited the App Store and you've downloaded iSilo. And also you'll want to visit the App Store and you'll want to uh, download this app called Download Light. Now it's going to be a red background with a white arrow pointing down with a yellow light across the, the bottom left corner. Um, so you'll do download light that should be a free app that you can find on the App Store so once you've got that downloaded and of course you you have the iSilo uh, downloaded as well you'll open up the download light application and it basically has a couple sections to it it's got a built-in browser it's got a section that you can go in and look at your download files um, those are the files, you know, if they're actively going, it tells you if they're still downloading or if they're done. And then here's where it'll actually browse and let you look at your files you've downloaded. And then you have a more section which lets you uh, do some other things. Um, we probably won't get into that this evening. But where you want to go is you want to go to the browser and you've got a plus sign to add a, a, a book note or you can go to... Um, the down arrow to pull up the browser. So basically you'll click in the arrow here and you'll want to go to uh, m.box.net and uh, let it go to that website. Now of course to, to continue following these directions you're going to have to have a, a box.net account. You'll need to be a collaborator to the theocratic folder and if you don't know how to do that, you'll need to visit the uh, meekspace.com website, um, register, and then you'll, uh, you'll be able to become a collaborator by clicking on one of the how to, how to put files on my Android device or how to put files on my Apple device pages there under the main menu. Both of those will have a link that will let you become a, a box.net collaborator. So you'll be taken here to the lo the login screen for box.net, the mobile page. So you'll go ahead and click uh, the login. And I'm going to go ahead and put my login information off camera here. So you'll put your information in and then in the bottom right corner you'll hit go. And I did put a check under keep me logged in. Basically what it should be doing is just uh, trying to communicate with box.net and log you into your box.net account. And then you should see your theocratic folder as long as you as you've uh, become a collaborator you know, you'll have a, I have a bunch of other folders because I'm doing a lot of other things but you will want to go into your theocratic folder and basically what we want to do is just browse to a file that we can download so I can show you how that works using uh, this method 3 So it's opened up the theocratic folder and we're going to go ahead and go into iSilo, the folder where we keep all of the iSilo files at. And then I'm going to go into Kingdom Ministry.
inside Kingdom Ministry, I'm just going to go ahead and download the 2011 Kingdom Ministry NI Silo format. So it's just going to give us an overview of the file and we can just click the download link. So we'll get the uh, dialog box that pops up that asks us if we want to go ahead and download it. So you just click on download link. Down here under our little menus, you'll see there's a number one there. If you click on that, that'll show that there's a file being downloaded. And it downloaded quick enough. We didn't get to see the status bar, but it does show a status bar there. Um, we'll go back to there. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to Kingdom Ministry. <clears throat> And I'm going to uh, go ahead and grab the 2010 just to kind of show you that process a little quicker. So we'll grab the 2010. And again, we'll just hit the download link. Now, the only way this method works is if you're connected uh, to Wi-Fi or if you're connected with your data, your 3G or 4G data connection. I'd recommend that you use Wi-Fi. Uh, it's just faster and some of these files are large and it takes a long time. In fact, they'll even fail sometimes if they're too, long, too large of a file and the, the, your data stream is not fast enough. These files that I'm downloading are not very big, but you can see they still take a while. Click the download link, click downloads down here, and you can see the status of it go across the screen as it's downloading it. And you know, it gives you a warning sign. So basically that's how to go ahead and log into box.net and download a file through this application. Now the next process, you want to click on the files folder down here, and it'll show you the files that you have in um, in your um, in your files folder of this application and so if you want to open it up for instance I want to open up that 2011 uh, Kingdom Ministry you click on it and it'll ask you it gives you the option of opening it emailing the file to somebody or open in so you want to choose open in and it'll give you any apps that you have installed that it might be able to open it and of course iSilo is one of them so that means you have to have iSilo installed before you do this. Um, so you click on iSilo, and it should open up iSilo and open up the document that we wanted to look at. So it opened up iSilo. If you go into the inbox, see, I expected it to open up the file for us and it didn't so we'll go back into the app again and we'll go down to files and we'll do the 2011 again now it should remember that we wanted to choose iSilo to open that type of file and it, so it should just take us to iSilo and open it up and of course it's going to give us some trouble I'm going to go ahead and close that down and I'm going to open this back up again. And I'm going to go to files. And I must have accidentally hit the application, that advertisement link there. So we want to click on the file. We want to open it in. We want to choose iSilo. And this time it worked. So it opened it up for us. And now we can see. Um, you know the document and we can go into the different parts of the file but if we go back to doc list 
you'll notice you have downloads, inbox, iSilo, public, and theocratic. Well, you may not have theocratic because I created that earlier, but you will have an inbox. And anytime you use this application to open a file, it saves the file in inbox. See, there's the Kingdom Ministry that we just opened, and I had opened it earlier, so now there's two of them there. But what we want to do, if, if we don't want to leave them in the inbox. We want to move them to our theocratic folder. So you'll, you'll click on the uh, left of the file, and then you'll go to Copy. And then it'll bring up the Copy File menu. The destination folder, you want to choose a folder to put it in. Now I have a theocratic folder that I put mine in, so I'll choose that. I don't want it to leave the file in the original place, so I want to delete the original, so I'll turn that on. And then I'll hit Copy. And it says it's already there. I'm going to overwrite it. But you notice it disappeared out of the inbox because I told it to delete it when we were done. And uh, if you hit this up arrow, we'll go back to our root directory. If we go into theocratic, you can see that file's there. <clears throat> so basically, that's how you interact with this application. It seems to work okay. Uh, occasionally you've got some little glitches, but it, it is another way of getting files onto your Apple device. And again, it's called Download Lite, and I recommend you doing it through Wi-Fi. But uh, that's method three, um, downloading from Box.net and using Download Lite to put the files into your iSilo. Thanks for watching this tutorial.